Now, if you open up the IPM scenarios PDF, which is this one here, version eight, uh, and then you switch to page 22, you will see that there is something called the AMQS put. And this stands for the Advanced Queue Manager. That's what AMQ stands for. And you'll see that, uh, that acronym listed in other areas. So Advanced Message Queue. S stands for sample because it's a sample application that IBM provides to you. And then you have put. So obviously that is our message put command. And then there, that comes with another program called AMQS get. Now, what would you use that for? Well, it's a fast and easy way to kind of pretend you are on application A or application B, like we've been drawing previously. So wh what does that look like? Well, if you c come into uh, your VM, what I'm going to do is simulate on the left, remember in our previous diagrams, we had application A on the left and we had application B on the right. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're just going to simulate it and we're going to use those two programs. So because I need a little bit more screen space, I'm going to enter a prompt $G, which just gives me a little more space there. And I'm going to do the same over here. So we'll say prompt $G. And now what you need to do is before you use these programs, you need to uh, give it First of all, you have to switch into the correct directory that contains that binary, which is this directory here. I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. So we have consistent environment. And now you need to set an environment variable. And this environment variable is essentially just your connection string. It tells the current prompt, the current shell, CMD that we're running, how to get into that, uh, how to connect to. It's the server con that we talked about before. Uh, into your server and now what you're going to do is issue in the first case on the on application a we're going to be doing putting so we're going to put this is the command amqs put and i'm going to just give it the default because this is this should be built in should be included in your version of cfqm and really just it's a default of qm anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to issue a put over there and then on the right side i'm going to issue its equivalent command, which is the amqs get. So again, it's the advanced queue manager sample program. We're just, I'm going to get from the right and I'm going to put on the left. And this is interesting. If I hit enter, watch what happens. Well, we get an error. And the reason for that is because in Windows, these commands actually end in the letter C. And so if I hit that, you'll see, there we go. And the same on the right. So I'm going to hit C. So what's happening is we're in interactive mode now. I can type in, look at this, if I type in hello and hit enter, watch what happens on the right. I see message hello because it's getting on the right and we're putting on the left. So application A is talking to application B. If I say howdy, you'll see howdy. And this is a test and so on. So you can see live messages going back and forth simulating what we've been talking about uh, up until now. And you'll see that this eventually will time out on the right and on the left it uh, really doesn't. So you can continue you know, putting messages on here. So this is really interesting because essentially what we're doing here is what we had said before. You are able to put messages. You can do it with the, this sample program. You can do it with MQ Explorer. You can do that with the MQSC. And, and you can also do it with the control command. You can do it with all of these different programs and, and, and think about, again, all we're really doing here is just finding a queue and we are right clicking on it essentially and we're putting a test message on it. And in the case of the default queue is just sort of sitting there, it's uh, not going anywhere. And that's why we're able to see this application uh, receive the data on the get and of course send messages on, on the put. So you could just imagine how great this could be for a simple troubleshooting tool if you are trying to make sure that messages are able to be put on a queue from an application. This is a great, simple way to do that. And you can even use it potentially in some more complicated examples where the application on the left is attempting to put a message on a queue and then you know from something you've set up that actually it's going to be moved over to another queue. You could put on your application on the right, uh, you could set it up so that it does a get into the destination queue and just be sure live that the messages are in fact being transferred back and forth. 
And of course, if you needed to do something more complicated than that, you certainly could. But you you you, you see the point and the power of doing something as uh, using these two programs, built-in programs, to do very basic troubleshooting uh, with your queues and with queue managers.